Hey guys, welcome back um, to the vault for some exclusive content. We are here to bring you guys another episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Mexi, Klein, Snap, Pierre, and Leon. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Pierre, take it away. Yeah, it's me, Snap, Blanken. We got uh, Mexi over there, and we've got the uh, Jason's biggest fan, Leon, wearing his uh, little crawler sweatshirt. You guys ready to get started here? Let's do it. You guys ready to get started? Hey, yeah. Blank, do me a favor. I want you to be motivational. I want you to be uplifting. I want you to tell other people that they're doing a good job. I know it's really hard for you, but I want you to try it, okay? Yeah. All right. I believe in you, bro. All right, here we go. I bu- that was the worst transition ever. <laughs> he, tried, he, did, like, he tried to be like he's all slick, too. He's like, all right, here we go, guys. <laughs> like, 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 he's smooth. All right. <laughs> Blanket, I know you got I know you like a guy with a milky upper lip. How about you take us through your weeper? I think that's the opposite of what I like. That's why it's on my weeper this week. Is uh for one, I don't understand the whole Johnny Manziel thing, other than the fact that he lives in Texas, and I guess there's a Houston Astros in here, but um I don't think anybody asked for these hats at all whatsoever. So um, they sold out though, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's just because it's rare. It's the first time it's happened. So um, these are not going to become a, a fixture of the hat community. I do not believe um, the Texas Rangers was the best one, in my opinion, uh, because it was so minimal on the cow. So but um, but yeah, that's my weeper because I just don't think anybody would ask for this kind of a hat. Interesting. All right. Nice job, Blanken. And I think Johnny Manziel, like he looks like he's uh he looks like he's aged, doesn't he? He looks old as yeah. shit. Yeah. That's what a lot of drugs and cocaine and all that shit will do to you. So he looks like he could be a pitcher for the major league baseball back in nineteen ninety one. Damn. Okay. okay. All right. Who's next? <laughs> Oh man, so I believe this was exclusive, but this honestly looks like a program hat. I will say if exclusive went out of the way to specifically design this, they've hit a new a new level for me. Mm. We've talked about how flowers are becoming more acceptable, but god damn, keep it to one or two. Come on. I'm making a whole border out of this one. Um, yeah, this is just not good, not my cup of tea. I'm good on this. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. Well, thank you, Maxi. Appreciate your uh, in-depth analysis off the you, Snap. Oh, I hate this hat. I hate everything about it. Um, hate this. Hate that there's two front logos on the hat. Um, I hate that there's pink top. Front front logo. Logo. That uh, that that uh, Philly side patch right there. That's a front logo. No, that's a side patch on this hat. Yeah, but I mean, you could use it as a front logo. Most people use it as a front logo, not a patch. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't like this Pepto Bismol style of hat. You said that so confidently too. You know what I like about you, Snap? You're like you are like an expert bullshitter. Like you know what it is about you. Like the thing is, like you know how to bullshit because you oh, do yeah. it with conviction. You, you do it with conviction. You do it with confidence, and you just say it. And then like you're just like even though it's bullshit, right? Like it sounds like legit. Like let's say let's say me, you, and Blanken were having a conversation, right? Mm-hmm. And you were lying to Blanken and you included me in the lie, I would know how to go with it and extend it. Whereas as far as other people like Leon would be like, What are you talking about? We didn't go there. We didn't I'm go there. I'm not a good liar. I'm not a good liar. There. <laughs> I'm gonna just continue with the lie. You know what I'm saying? And just keep going. Snap you. you- you know those like those uh loyalty tests when you get like your friend to call like the sending of an other you would right. be like like oh make sure like tell her I was with you last night you would come up with like the craziest story you, you would oh like, hell yeah hell yeah but yeah this, I this like, right right he wasn't with me yesterday I don't think he's complimenting <laughs> you I, mean, I don't think he's complimenting you <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's... that means I got his back yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, snap, you're saying Snap's got you back. Yeah. Yeah, like he'd be like loyal. Like, yeah. It'd be like, oh, uh, like if you called Snap, let's say, on speakerphone with Anna, 
and you'd be like, hey, Anna, or, uh, hey, Snap, tell Anna I was with you last night. And what yeah, we he did. Was he here. would come up with like the crazy yeah, he, story. Yeah, he was over here, Anna, and he was, we were talking first about all, you. First of all, don't night. drag me into that shit. I would never do that to Anna. We were, we were talking about you most of the blanking, night. Anna. Blanking. Use blanking as your uh, example. No, don't use me either because I wouldn't either. Uh, I'm like, listen. <laughs> that's listen. not you. I'm that's like, this, not, that's like not true. You told us you would need our help every now and then. And we need to be ready for you. I'm like, man, Anna, he was he was here the whole night. We were talking about you <laughs> most of the time. I was getting sick of it, but I mean he loves you, man. And um <laughs> that's all I did. All right, let's go. Listen, Anna knows I'm either working or doing this shit. I know. Like I was just using it as an example. I'm not saying it would be like a realistic example. All right, well, let's use this example, like Leon and his make pretend girlfriend, right? Mm -hmm. So if Leon had a make pretend <laughs> Yeah, his right hand. <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble, Leon. What the fuck? I'm not trying to get you in trouble. That would never happen. Oh, I'll right, be like, hey, listen here, Misty. The forecast is looking <laughs> great with you guys. All I see is yeah. I'm just no, saying, snaps no. the guy. If anyone ever is in a pinch, snaps the guy to call. No, he is. No, I, I, I call. Call. I'm not that guy. Like, oh, I could bull I could bullshit the police. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not the alibi guy. Snap's the alibi guy. Mm -hmm. mm. So would you do it for Blanken though, Snap? Yeah, I'll do it for I'll do it for Blanken. <laughs> it's like man code, right? It's like man code, right, Snap? Yeah. 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 I, I feel like Snap would do it for him, but then like throw in some embarrassing stuff. Oh no, no, no. I think Snap would do it for him, but like he would like let him know like he'd hold it over his head, like yes, yeah. Oh well, yeah, I'll blackmail him later. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you what would you what would you want to get in return from Blanken though snap like if you're gonna blackmail him like you're like all right man i helped you with your girl like now i don't know i, I gotta think about it maybe 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 a, a nice steak dinner <laughs> you want me to take you on a date for a steak dinner snap no, I just like you for pay, not go with me. Just pay the bill. <laughs> don't act, like, don't act like you wouldn't want me to go with you. You would sit at like a separate table, snap, and make them pay for you. Yeah, <laughs> by yourself. Table for one. <laughs> no, he's tapped though. Now you probably get table for two and just eat for two people. No, I no, I, I no, I I probably have a great time with Blanket. Me and Blanket will probably have a. Awesome time. I, What's I, the best I, steakhouse in NWA? Um, I mean, we got some really good ones. Being from the country and shit, we got a bunch of cows around here. So I was just about to say, it's probably people. like yeah. farm to table for you guys, huh? Yeah. yeah you can't fuck up steak in fucking in, in Arkansas. So what's the no, but what's the like the premier steakhouse out there? Mm, we have a place called Doe's. D O E S Doe's. Mm. Um, obviously everybody has a Roos Chris. No, no, that's um, not, no, I'm talking like a mom and pop place. I'm not talking. Doze. Like Doze is a mom and pop. That's like a local spot. Okay. Doze eat place is what it's called. And it's, uh, they're only open on the weekends, I believe. And they do really good, like steak stuff. You would Huge steaks. Big, you, you would think in a big metropolis like that, they'd be open seven days a week. Nah. They they get filled up on the weekends because they're so popular. No, I, I think I think I'll have a great time with blanket. We'll we'll be bantering each other the whole fucking time, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Would you go cow tipping with them? I don't know what that is. Blanket, why don't you tell them? I don't even know. I've never been, so I have no idea. Like I just you know, know like the thought of it. You know what cow tipping is? I guess it's like when you oh, when they're like asleep. You you guess. You well, know what cow tipping is? Not really. I've never done it, so I have no oh, idea. When, 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 because they sleep standing up, and then you push them over, and they're like stiff. It's a really rock. a fucked up. It's you, a really fucked up thing to do. Actually, you can't tip them over. Really, you can't. No, nah. and if you do, you could kill them. But you, hmm. for the most part, you can't tip. You would so kill them, yeah, because the weight would crush their ribs. What? What? Remember what they? What do they do to the goats? How they scare them, and they just fucking stiffen up and. Oh yeah, they dropped dead. We showed that video on here before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. That sounds like something they would do out there in Northwest Arkansas. 
Hmm. That's the joke with the cow tip is you can't actually do it. I think there's heavy fucking animals, man. They're I mean, let you tip yeah. them over. No. All right, Blinken. Uh, so my sleeper is not actually this hat per se. It's more along the lines of uh, like 59, 58 frames. Um, I think a lot of people in, at least in this community are sleeping on them because I really love these 59, 58 frames. They're really good. So I think more people should um, step out of their comfort zone a little bit mm -hmm. and try one out because they fit perfectly in the several cases of the A frames that I've gotten. Um, and yeah, I think they're I think they're a great silhouette. I agree with you, Blank, and I think they're underrated. I think they're really good and clean without that seam. Nice choice, Blinken. And who's uh, who's next up? Maxi. Ooh, the shock drop from Pat Lana. Um, the Gators. Man, this is just such a clean colorway. And um, obviously because they're in Europe, um, sizes are still sitting. But I think this is one of the ones that people are going to, once they see better picks of it in hand, they're going to want to get it by any means necessary. Um, so I thought that this was a really, really good sleeper. Uh, so, yeah, nice job, Pat. All right, great. Mine's just going to be um, right. this Oakland A's hat with the dark camel. I really like dark camel. And, I mean, the colors on this hat are beautiful. Metallic gold. Then you got the flower. You see the little red hyphen on there. Gray under. The Battle of the Bay looks nice. Um, yeah, this is a cool-ass hat, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And I, like I believe it. I believe it's a sleeper. Snap, but uh, I want to commend you on your attempt. That is an apostrophe, not a, not oh, a whatever, whatever it was you said. Yeah, I I, well, it's I an apostrophe. Know. Okay, cool. Thank so you. blanking again, blanking again. Like I, I know your intentions are in the right place, but this <laughs> is not. We, we had a talk about like. That's what I said. I said I commend him on his attempt. I didn't say that. Oh, you're yeah, an idiot. Yeah, he could have, he could have just, just let it slide, right? Yeah, right. Just let it slide next time. The business in, in the business that's what we call a backhanded compliment. <laughs> yep. You try or, to give him a compliment sandwich. Or uh, what I call is a bitch ass move, especially considering we had a long talk about this just the other night. It's okay. You try to give him yeah. a compliment sandwich. No, now Snap saying it's okay. That's one demerit. That's how many demerits did uh Blanken get in terms of the positivity police? He um he gave you a six, right? Yeah, he gave me a six earlier. That's one demerit. What else did he do? This for sure, two. This is two for sure, yeah. But was there any others in the show? I'm not sure. Um Yes. Uh, are we are we counting the fact that he did not want to be used as an example? Hmm. Are we counting that? Hey, he wasn't a team no, player. That's not. That's not really demeaning. I'm talking about like when he's not being uplifting of some of one of his fellow castmates. Hmm. We're trying to teach him to be a little nicer, Leon. You know what I mean? So then it's two, two so far. He's got two. He's got two um, positivity police demerits. We're gonna <laughs> keep track. Pierre, yeah, did you notice that I didn't? You didn't see any of those annoying little things that you hate on the. No, picture? you did a great job, you, Snap. You did a fantastic job with that. Thank you for following Thank through you. on um on my on my request, man. That's that's what friends do for one another. Yes. Really nice work, Snap. Really All right. Nice. Can we, let's get, back to, it. Let's get to the keepers. Sure. Let's see. Let's see if Blank and Good be a little more positive for the rest of the show. Oh, I'm always positive. I'm uplifting. Um, right, uplift me, buddy. Let's see. So I'm going with whichever one that Snap didn't choose here in this photo. Okay, you go with the bottom one. Okay, <laughs> I'll go with the bottom one. God damn. That's three. That's not three. You said Snap chose it, so I don't want it. No, I'm saying no, no, go. he's saying we're gonna show no, no, I think this was a good one, Jose. I know it's hard to get past all the negativity that he's been spewing towards Snap over the past couple of shows. We're sharing the keeper. 
He was trying to be polite that time. It means it's like, close, like open the door for Snap. It's like, oh, you guys have this. Ah, uh, I understand now. It's like, you, it's, like you, taking, you. it's like he was taking Snap to Doe's, right? The steakhouse. And he mm-hmm. opened the door for him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what he did. It was he knew fact, that I had this as my keeper because I love NBA hats. I texted. I texted him. I said, "Just throw it on there. Whichever one you didn't pick is the one I'm going to choose." So. Oh, you texted him. See, that's nice yeah. too. That's nice too. That was very considerate, Blinken. So yeah, I, I guess the uh, the bottom New York is my keeper because both of them are keepers, and I got both of them. So. You did. They're good. That's the 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 one at the bottom. It, it screams Jeremy Lin. In it because of the two one two, mm. and um, even though I chose the one at the top when I went uh, when I asked you for one of these Knicks hats, that bottom one is really really good as well. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop staring at the copper metallic for the real New York Knicks logo, so I had to go with the top one. But that that bottom one was executed perfectly. I'll never wear this hat. Right, but that <laughs> Knicks hat, the top one, I love how it came out. I love how they both came out, but that top one is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Blanken, let's go to your second one. Um, my second keeper. Oh, surprise, surprise, a Nick, a, a Mets hat. Boom. Yep. Uh, Poppy Caps Lot got this bad boy for me. Uh, home game. They've been doing some really good work with the community. And uh, they've had some really good hats lately, so had to show them a little bit of love. And yeah, I really love this hat, so had to uh, had to get this one. That's my keeper, second keeper. Very nice, nice choice, nice choices, Blinken. Thank you so much for uh, your contributions this evening. As we move on to Maxi, yeah. So I also texted Snap, uh, not because I was trying to be nice, but this is the only way I can get my images to him on the slideshow. Um, so snap, thank you for including that. And uh yeah, Hat Club dropped this as part of a variety pack. We all know that the team is now moving. Um, but man, this one flew. Uh great colorway, nothing wrong with the two-tone, especially a black dome. And uh they kept it simple with this one. So for me, this was definitely a keeper from Hat Club this week. I liked I liked this logo. It's almost like the you know, the baseball one with just the head. But this is just a nice bigger profile of the mascot. Have you really uh, uh, moved one yet? No, I'm waiting for Toppers USA to do one. They um, already did. Oh, I missed it. Um, we, we've gone over this. Many where times. are they moving to, these jabronis? Where? Yeah. Doesn't matter. You're not going to buy the hat. Let's no, go on to my next one. The parent one. club is moving to Utah. Yeah, but the Tucson random place old runners are gonna move to Phoenix now. <coughs> oh, okay, cool. Random place. Ah, the Chiefs. Man, this is a fun logo for me. Uh again, beautiful two-tone. This one sold out. Um, and just the amount of detail on that baseball and the entire headwear, beautifully executed. Uh, this one was this one was a very good one. So Nice job, uh, Mr. Pierre, on this one. Thank you. Do you have one coming with that Chiefs um, script on the front? No. Mm. This is a gray hat, even though it didn't have a lot of metallic on it. The only metallic is the outlines. Um, well, no, and the and the um, in the feathers between the red and the um, and the blue. Mm. Yeah, yeah the copper. copper there. It was, it was very nice. Very nice. Keepers, all the right. Rushmore. Um, he's a, just because that Expos, man. Uh, I don't know what. Expos was probably one of the most popular logos when I first came into the community. I didn't know it. It's. It, I, I didn't know it said it was an M. I, thought, I always thought it was an ELB. Mm-hmm. Um, and then all of a sudden. Well, what? Leon, why don't you explain that to him? So it is um, an ELB, but it also forms an M. So like the the Span uh, the French grammar um, expose the baseball or, or whatever, like the ELB, it could be um, considered that, but it also forms a, an M. 
for my show. So it's like a dual logo. But I, I just like the community kind of forgot about this logo and they were making everything else except this. So it's a breath of fresh air to see a Expos hat back in the scene. Um, so I really like it, and that's why I'm gonna make that my keeper. All right, and then next, yeah, you guessed it. You thought I was gonna you know say go New York, go New York, go. Oh my god, I can only imagine how all those Knicks fans are at Madison Square Garden now that the Knicks are good. Um, this this I'm gonna man, this reminds me of John Starks, Patrick Ewing. Charles Oakley, Anthony Mason, um, Mark Jackson, Chris Childs, Charlie Ward, um, Latrell Sprewell, Larry. Listen, all those players you just talked about, the one that I used to like, even as a Celtics fan, man, I, I didn't want to play, I didn't like playing against him, but Anthony Mason, man, that guy was a beast. Beast, man, rest in peace, Anthony Mason. Um, I My whole childhood was about this team. I mean, I, 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 there's a channel called MSG that shows the games, and I would listen to Marv Albert, and then I would, uh, I would go back and play NBA Live and try to replicate his voice as I was playing the games. The Knicks meant a lot to me, um, and then I moved to Atlanta. They didn't show the Knicks anymore. They traded Patrick Ewing to the fucking Orlando Magic. I was pissed off. And, and, and left the Knicks. He ended up coaching there a little bit, too. Right. Um, but, yeah, so the New York Knicks, man. Go New York. I hope you guys make it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals at least. Snap, yeah. what was your favorite NBA Live game? 05 uh, for me. 05 for me. 05. Uh, no, it was the one when, when you finally got to use Michael Jordan. Which was probably two thousand and three, because Michael Jordan never. Why would you want to use that chump? Michael Jordan. No, it was because you know in any other games before, they will always make Michael Jordan as some like as some random player, right? But yeah. they would make him look like Michael Jordan. They would never say Jordan's name, and then fucking finally Jordan said, "You know what? I guess they gave him a good check, or I don't know what he did." But they, they allow, Jordan allowed his his uh persona to be put in the game. Remember, he wasn't on an NBA like Jam. This. Remember, he wasn't even on an NBA Jam. It was hit, it was Ku Coach and Pippen. Correct. If I, wasn't it? It was Ku Coach and Pippen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the big stars that happened to Barry Bonds, Wayne Gretzky. Another they, person they, that that still hasn't allowed himself to be in a game is Charles Barkley. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, there is your little uh, NBA live history lesson, everybody. Yep. That was one of my favorite games. And that brings the show to a close, guys. Yeah. Leon, we missed you on this week in caps, but it's good that you were here for the nightcap. Mm -hmm. You going to go play one of those guitars after we're done here? No, I'll be uploading, uploading videos oh, and tagging. Yeah. Nice. You're always, you're, you're always the dependable, <laughs> reliable one. We appreciate that, Leon. Snap, you're always late, but we appreciate you too. <laughs> it's not it's not on purpose. It's just 24 hours is not enough for me. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> I have a lot of things on my plate. You were uh, napping. This is 24 hours would be enough if you weren't taking cat naps at fucking 9 30 p.m. when you're supposed to be doing a show with us. Well, I finally had a chance to fucking close my eyes. You don't know how long I'll be up. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a 30 minute nap. Next thing you know, that turned it. I was almost, I was, I almost missed the whole show. Hmm. Snap, snap, snap. You know, I, I wake up right away. Like you know, I, I that happens. I jump on the show right away, though. Right at nine. it was like 9:35, but you know, rubbing the sleep out of your eyes. You're like, oh, I'm here, guys. Yeah. At least you weren't fucking eating. <laughs> You're yeah. right. Yeah. I'm going to lose this way. I'm about to get right. You look like you're getting. You look like you're. You look like you're trimming up a little bit. Snap. Oh, we about to get right. We about to get right. We about to get right, baby. I wish I could show you my calf muscle. 
No, no, we don't want to see your cap. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those shits, huh? Cap, listen, what do you expect when you're carrying around? When you're carrying around 320 pounds, listen, dude, if you're carrying around 320 pounds, your legs are going to get bigger and stronger. Rate my calf muscle right now. Rate it. Rate it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Klein, rate it. Look no, I'm I'm not trying to get look at this. Fine, you're you're sniffing another demerit. <laughs> rate it. Look at that thing. I can't see it. Huh? I can't huh? see it. Huh? You can't rate you can't rate what you can't see. Leon, Leon, oh. make him big. Make him big. Doesn't that sound like another demerit? I mean, hold up, hold up. All right. All right, Klein. You can see it now. <laughs> Rate his calf. Rate his calf definition. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Snap. Uh, baby, what you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Nah, snap. I don't know. Snap. Yeah. Pia, you put me in that machine where you got to push your legs on those weights. Leg press. Oh, I'm kidding yeah, you. Leg press isn't like a calf exercise. <laughs> or all okay, calf raises. What about the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, yes. When what about the one you put the weights here? You're doing your you calf. The weights right here, you go like this. Yeah. On your tippy toes. Yeah. The way he was doing so where, that. Wait, wait. We didn't get a rating yet. So, Blanken, rate, <laughs> rate snaps calf definition on a scale of one to 10. Uh, six. Okay, you show me your calf. Let's see yours. You'll, you'll, I'm not, no, my camera's way up higher than yours is, and it's not angled down low. I'm not messing with it. You'll see in New York, though. Yeah, yeah. What you think about my calf muscles? They're pretty good. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> well, listen, I, I mean, you do have like you do have like an advantage, though. I mean, you're carrying around extra weight all day, so like it's gonna like it's only no, like no, no, no. all day. It, it, you know, it, it, I had I have such I had such bad eating habits that if I didn't play basketball all my life, I would probably been like. Really over, oh, like obese. Thank God for basketball. Listen, man. I listen. I'm not. I have a sweet tooth, man. I love like fucking sweets, man. Ice cream, cakes. I love that shit. Yep. But you don't. You don't drink sodas. No. I, I got hooked to sodas. That's the problem. I'm I love sodas. Yeah, but all can be a problem. But I don't. I'm not a soda drink. I'm not a sugary soda drinker. I don't like that stuff. Oh, and burgers. Them damn whoppers. <laughs> Whoppers, where are you, are you getting whoppers in Atlanta? I love, I love me a whopper, man. Oh, whoppers, shit! I was thinking Whataburger for some reason. Uh, I was like, where did you get Whataburger in I Atlanta? Came out of nowhere though, just whoppers. My whoppers. No, favorite, my favorite fast food outside of pizza. It's gotta be that. The now you know why I don't like whoppers is because they put mayonnaise on it. I hate mayo. Just say no mayo. I, mayo. I love mayo. Can't do it. I like mayo. I don't like mayo on burgers though. I like mayo on chicken. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like chipotle mayo on chicken. Like a good chicken sandwich. Good little lettuce, tomato, mayo. Nah, I'm good without the mayo. But I don't judge those who take. No. Who am I? I just like I just like mustard better. It's just like got more taste to it. What's your all favorite right. fast food dessert of all time? Oh. Ooh. That's easy. I, I I don't know. You guys don't have Sonic in New York, but Sonic they've we, got. We have Sonic out here. Yes, you do? Yeah. It's not just not in the boroughs like that. It's uh-huh. not in like in, in the boroughs, but it's on the outskirts. Yes. I thought Sonic was literally just a Midwest thing. So no. Um. All right, but yeah, yeah there's Sonic. You gotta need to get out NWA sometimes, buddy. No, I just know that it was founded in the Midwest, so I thought it was only in Midwest. But hey, what um, is Sonic? The blast, they they do the Sonic Blast. It's the ice cream, okay. And then they just put like the if you want like a Reese's, if you want M and M's, if you want like Oreos. Dairy, it sounds like a blizzard. So like a blizzard. It's just, yeah, it's the same thing. But I I like the Sonic Blast better because they their ice cream just tastes better to me. Sounds like a McFlurry. No, no McFlurry. the McFlurries. That's frozen yogurt though, right? The I, mm-hmm. the stuff at McDonald's is like frozen yogurt. I believe so, yeah. It's not ice cream. Uh, or ice milk. More, uh, I don't even know. All right, so Maxi, favorite fast food dessert of all time? 
Okay, so oh, so you know how there's tiers to fast food, mm -hmm. right? Because there there are tiers. Are we counting Cheesecake Factory? No, that's not fast food. Mm -hmm. Fast food like McDonald's. That is not fast food. Okay, that's a sit down restaurant. Cheesecake Factory is a diner. No, it's a sit down restaurant. It's like a yeah, it's a yeah, it's, it's a, a nice, humongous ass diner. I am going to say, um, I have fallen into the McFlurry phase, specifically oh. the M and M. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. all right, Mc, all right, McDonald's, Mc, McDonald's, McFlurries, yes. Leon. I'm simple, so I like the Dairy Queen, uh, the ice cream, but dipped. With like chocolate, the, the dip, dip cone, cone. those oh, are yeah. good too. The dip cone. All right, snap Dunkin' Donuts, Boston cream. That's not a dessert, <laughs> it's not. No, <laughs> it's, it's, not. A it's a fucking no, donut. That's no dessert, though, man. Like, like a it's donut, a really is not a, dessert. a donut technically should be a dessert. But, technically, but yeah, it should. Item, though. If you get a donut, item, 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 item. Item. okay, you get. Like it's it's like a dessert masquerading as a as a breakfast item because like yeah. there's no reason you, that should be the staple of anybody's breakfast. <laughs> but kind of kind of like cereal for the most part. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't don't you go there. Nah, that's, you, that's a vow. You you can choose that one, snap. I've got. Do you guys remember when McDonald's used to fry their apple pies? Mm, yeah. Uh, no. Those were the yeah. Best. Fried Ew. McDonald's apple pies. Sounds like. Death. Yeah, now they just they throw them in the oven and they're already pre. Nah, those suck. Yeah. The yeah. old school fried McDonald's apple pies were the best ever. They're like the bubbly skin. Are yeah. Yeah. Yep. And they did cherry too. Yeah. Ooh. When I lived when I lived in New York, I was a big Carvel fan. Oh, dude, Carvel ice cream that I love. I don't know if they still exist. Yes, they do. Oh, I used yeah. with the. McDonald's fudge hot fudge Sunday is pretty good too. Wait, do you guys have Andy's yeah. frozen custard up there? No. Andy's? No. They're like they only do frozen custard. Um, and that's a really good place down here too. We have I, some crumble cookies out here now. Yes. Those are pretty good. Those are good. I yeah. I grew up in a diner family, so I always grew up around diner desserts. Um, mm. so mm. Love, I have a very big uh, sweet tooth for cheesecake. So, whenever mm. the cheesecake, like would, cheesecake come, too. would come into the diner, my dad worked at, um, he would always make sure to take home some fresh cheesecake. Nice. My mom made this uh pineapple cheesecake the other day, it's fucking mm. crazy. I've mm. gotten big on pineapple lately too. Like, I, I used to eat pineapple. it, and now I'm like, damn, this shit I is love good. pineapple. <laughs> I love it. My buddy that used to work at a pizza place, um, they had cheesecake, and I would come in there, and he would always give me a piece because I would always ask for it, and he would always call him like my name for him was Cheesecake because of that. Mm -hmm. I think they say every seven years, your taste buds completely change. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Rotation. So then that's why you, you like your taste change over your lifetime. So Mine haven't so. rotated very much. Not, not my. <laughs> Well, listen, guys, this is a good show, man. I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, I think uh, Blanken got two more demerits in this one, so he's up to three dem positivity police demerits. Um, we're going to keep track, though, right? He's gonna, that we, we should? I, believe, I believe he's going to he's going to pull through. I believe he's going to turn it around. Yeah, he's definitely going to turn Episode it Episode two hundred. I got. I believe Episode it. Episode two hundred. Isn't that crazy? Felt like yesterday. We were on Zoom. Got to do something big, right? So we only got we only got six days to figure it out. Oh snap! Put us together some crazy fucking slides in there. Just slide them in there. Hmm. You've been here for two years. For my outtakes, some of the outtakes of, of views from the vault. I, I want to see. Has it been two years? Snap's been on this for two years. No, about a year and a half. A year and a half. Snap, I want to see a um, a versus of calves in the next show. So yeah, two people showing off their calves. No, you put yours up against like somebody like uh, Mr. Olympia, like like Chris Bumstead or something. Oh, your, okay. your calves on the right, right? And then you mm -hmm. have Chris Bumstead next to you, and we're going to rate whose calves are better. <sighs> gotcha. mm -hmm. can, you, can you set that up for us? 
Yeah, we can set that up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, listen, guys. Let's let's wrap this up for the night. It's been a long day. With that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Uh, what is your favorite fast food dessert? Um, make sure you guys are liking the video, subscribe to the channel, link to join Vault Clubs at the bottom for Mexi, Klein, Snap, Leon, and Pierre. We're out here. Swipe right. when you see my calves on Tinder. Peace.